Now, remember in our last lesson where we had those different leaves and when we opened up the smart object and changed one, it changed all of them because they were linked together? How can we break that link? Well, let's say we have a butterfly right here and we want to change the color. What we could do is we could go to Layer, Smart Object. This is where everything basically is. Um, and you can say New Smart Object via Copy. That doesn't make any sense to anyone but basically what that means is I highlighted it in green under my preference menu just so I know personally that new smart object via copy means hey give me another smart object but I'm gonna break the link between the two so you can change it That's all that means you can also have done it this way it's new smart object via copy under the menu can't see it sorry about that but double click on this smart object and let's change it to a different color um, I'm not feeling those colors. Okay, we'll just pick one here. Sorry about that. Now remember, we just go ahead and close it. Say yes, we want to save it. And when we come back, as you can see, voila, this one is different from this one. And the reason that happened is because we went to Layer, Smart Objects, New Smart Object via Copy, doesn't make any sense, or right click in your Layers panel to go to the Save menu. Now something else let's talk about, just real quick. When you double click your Shape Layer, it will remember all those settings that were applied and when you save it and go back it kinda of mushes them into the smart object so they're retained now another thing you may ask is well do I need to go to camera raw to open as a smart object no you don't you can go to file excuse me file open as a smart object and so if you um, bring in a JPEG tip for things of that sort it'll open a small uh, smart object or you could even go to place so if I went to place and I chose my uh, fruit bowl and you can see that it may look a little off that's okay but once you commit it it starts to um, retain its shape and then you can see that the peaches here let me turn this off sorry about that you can see that the peaches here are now a smart object also so you can go from camera raw into Photoshop you can go to file open as a smart object and you can even do place so, and um, place is good for um, also um, you can use um, PDF, EPS or AI, AI for Illustrator um, EPS a form of vector and PDF we all know now in the next lesson we're going to talk about some other things with smart objects